Hi! Are you one of those producers that think you need shitloads of plugins and presets to make a good track? I'm inviting you to think otherwise. Sometimes taking a minimal approach is the difference between being stuck in a 16 bar loop and finishing the damn track. In this video, I want to show you my latest project, Lovebug. It's a track I made using one synthesizer and one preset. If you follow the QR code or the link below, you can get the project file, which will also give you the preset I use to make all of the sounds in this track. So, let me show you a few examples. Let's start with the main section of the track. We have all of these cool sounds. This one as well. And we have these. All together. Let's also add this one and this one. All of these FM stabs are taken from the same presets, which I will show you in the end how I made. A couple of cool more sounds I have here are this, this, and this. I also have some atmospheric sounds such as this. And they are all together forming this. Let's go to another section of the track. So, more towards the beginning of the track, I have this. Classic lead sound. But I took the same synth and I took some more sounds out of it, such as this one. Let's play them together. Later in the section, I introduced another sound. I also made quite a lot of effect sounds out of the same preset, such as this one, this, and these two. Now, let me show you how I made this preset. So for this demonstration, I'm using Vital, which is the synth I use all the time. And I'm starting with just a sawtooth wave, and the note that I have here is a quarter note of G0. Let's start, first of all, by adding Oscillator 2, and click where it says Init, and click on Basic Shape, so we have a sine wave. I will also take this one octave below, and I will turn the level all the way down to zero, then go to oscillator 1, to the first knob, under phase, click here and select FM from oscillator 2. Nice. Then click on the second knob and choose random amplitude. Let's assign macro 3 to control the random amplitude and macro 4 to control the FM. Now, let's go to envelope 2. Let's take the sustain all the way down and the decay pretty low, under 100 milliseconds. Let's take the filter and turn the resonance all the way down and the cutoff almost all the way down and let's assign the envelope onto the cutoff. I don't want the envelope to control the entire cutoff so let's take this to around 40%. Let's take macro 2 and that will control the filter cutoff. Let's take macro 1, and that will control the decay, and it will control the sustain. Let's head to the matrix, and I will play with the envelopes to have a little bit more of a fine control over the filter and the envelope. So you already understand how we can get all of these different textures out of just one preset. Let's head to the effects, and let's add some distortion. Let's take the filter to post effect, cut off all the way down, resonance all the way down. Let's set the envelope also to this cutoff. We don't want this to go all the way up. And I will also set macro 2, which is our filter, onto the filter cutoff. This is the basis for this entire track. 
I also made one more change, and that is adding some pitch modulation. For some of the sounds, I took this random and I put it on the pitch. Simple as that. If you're new to synthesis or you're just feeling stuck, playing with just one synthesizer and one preset can help you think outside of the box and boost your creativity. It's almost like when a chef has only few ingredients to cook a meal. You can always get very creative. So obviously making all of these lead sounds and keeping things simple and minimal is important to keep your track sounding clean and punchy. But if you don't know how to make this bass line, you should watch this video next.